Chairman Murphy and members of the Committee on Colleges and Universities, I, I can't thank you enough for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you today. My name is Mackenzie Wong and I am here in support of Assembly Bill 19. Uh, in June of 2014, I woke up in a hospital bed uh, surrounded by a team of doctors and they broke the heart shattering news to me that I had a spinal cord injury and was now quadriplegic. Um, I felt both helpless and frightened. And on top of that, I was a, unable to even verbally respond or ask any questions due to being on life support. I didn't realize at that point in time that my new inability to walk was only one in quite literally hundreds of ways that my life would be permanently altered. So after my three month stay at UW Madison Hospital, I was then transferred to a skilled nursing facility in the Lake Geneva area. I was only 26 years old and didn't think my morale could take any further blows. Um, but then I developed a stage four pressure sore, which is an unbearably, unbearably painful and life-threatening condition that is common to spinal cord injury. Because of the pressure ulcer, I was mandated to bed rest for almost one full year broken up only by several month long stays in the hospital and ultimately required multiple surgeries to heal it. I can't even begin to imagine the tremendous amount of cost that the state endured because of this. Prior to my spinal cord injury, I had worked as a special education teacher and behavior therapist for children with autism. At the time of my injury, I had been living in Madison as a candidate for their master's in occupational therapy program. How ironic that only a handful of months later, I would instead be the one needing occupational therapy. Sustaining a spinal cord injury has not only significantly affected my career path, but quite honestly, has a tremendous impact on every waking moment. What used to seem like the smallest of tasks has become tremendous obstacles to continually overcome. An example of this would be something as simple as unlocking the front door to your house. Um, but the manipulation of a key becomes extremely difficult when you don't have finger dexterity. Um, or even getting here to testify in front of you. Um, my caregiver had to arrive just past 5 a.m. to start a three hour routine just to get me up, uh, dressed and up to my chair. So my day to day is now filled with pressure relief breaks to avoid these sores, management of personal caregivers, trying to avoid UTIs because my bladder can't drain correctly, or days where I struggle to get out of bed because my nerve pain is intolerable. It has affected my social life in many ways, such as the fear that I'll have something as awkward and embarrassing as a urine accident while out in public. And these are all just the tip of the iceberg. So AB 19, if passed, has the potential to alleviate some of these impacts that I've alluded to. In 2015, a very similar piece of legislature was passed in Minnesota, and I know you guys have heard quite a bit about it at, at this point. So I'll just kind of summarize that. I'm, I'm actually very excited that I will be going to Minnesota and gaining from this research and um, I will be partaking in one of the surgeries to get an epidural stimulator implanted. Um, so there, there are the many um, advantages that we have discussed in terms of attracting new revenue, um, being able to alleviate some of the financial burden uh, that the state has in terms of personal caregivers. And then of course, the improvement of daily life if I were to regain some function. So in short, this is why I am in full support of AB 19. Please help me to help make my life and the lives of my disabled community better. You know, Mackenzie, it's interesting because I think sometimes people think that because you have uh, a spinal cord injury, um, can't can't move maybe arms or legs or whatever, that you don't have any feelings there. And so when we talk about some pain, 
Do you want to explain on that at all? Or? Certainly. Um, so it, I do have quite a bit of neuropathy or nerve pain, and it is essentially from anywhere that you see that's touching the chair down. So from my, my leg down to the tips of my toes, I have an intense um, tingling, um, and it, uh, I get like bursts of, uh, it feels like a hot, uh, shooting pain that goes up and down my legs and it's from the moment I wake up until the moment I go to sleep. Um, and this is a, yet another thing that the epidural stimulator is, is hoping to address. And, and you know, John, uh, just the irony of, of somebody working at tremendous heights in their, in their work every day, you know, ends up uh, with a step ladder being, uh, you know, the instrument of your destruction, so to speak. Uh, that, that's, you know. That's kind of ironic that it is very ironic. I was trying to be safe, and then uh, it just, your luck runs out, and you just never know. Um, Representative Emerson. Thank you, Chair Murphy, and I 